Coming up, the new ladies of WA football, bearing all. Full contact, full tackling, nothing's there for show. Perth's Lingerie League get ready to put the boys to shame. Now to the sport set to turn heads here in Perth. The Angels are WA's first lingerie league football team and they're bearing it all ready for business. Tonight, Cassie Silva has an exclusive sneak peek of the girls breaking all the rules on the footy field. Full contact, full tackling, nothing's there for show. They're going to hit, they're going to hit hard. And they're going to hurt. A lot of the girls, they eat, breathe it, sleep it. They look bare, but mean business. Some of the girls run blazing 40-yard times and put some of the boys to shame. They're the Perth Angels, but don't be fooled, there's nothing angelic about them. Send me an angel. It's really an amazing sport and an amazing opportunity for anybody that's willing to push themselves. <laughs> Once known as the Lingerie League, they're now the legends. And coach J.R. Rogers says it's time to take the sport seriously. All these girls have come in just clean slate, ready to learn and absorb, and it's really unique for that. For these gridiron girls, breaking a nail is the least of their worries. A lot of them have overcome challenges before and know the work that it takes to be a dedicated athlete. Meet Natasha Haynes and Stephanie Lethborg. The last time these two met, they were on very different teams. Challenger! It was one of those Saturday, Sunday night things where everyone could sit down and had your favourite gladiator. Look familiar? Bionica, the blonde beauty with muscles and one-liners that pack a punch. We're gladiators, not babysitters. When I heard about the auditions, it was just one of those things you didn't want to look back and go, I wish I'd done that. The challenger was none other than Natasha Haynes. Watched it as a kid. Thought, there's no way I'm going to miss this opportunity as well. I remember lining up and looking because Steph was the first gladiator and looking into her and you, I think you pulled this face and I just, I remember thinking, oh, here we go, <laughs> a game on. Natasha went on to win the 2008 series of gladiators, taking home the car and the cash prize. I knew I was quick and agile and, and I could get through that quickly, but it, I mean, look, if you fell off the beam, it's game over. From the gauntlet to gridiron, now these two stare down the competition together. And you are smashing people. It is not for the light-hearted. It is go yeah. out there and hit people, play a great game. Hopefully people can start focusing more on the athlete side of it rather than thinking it's just girls running around with a ball. A girl who spent most of her life running around with one is Kirby Bentley. Regardless of your background, we have experiences that make us or change us or break us. She's played netball for the Fever and made the All-Australian football team. Now there's another sport she wants to tackle. Girls commit 110%, they're getting stronger and fitter and they're here for the game and, and not about running around and trying to look like supermodels, it's not about that. Kirby hopes the Angels will be a game changer for women in sport. They'll be saying they actually hit hard, they run hard, they can catch the ball and they can take him on, which will draw more people. So, you know, word of mouth is, is a powerful thing. Off the field, she works as a mentor for the Wirrapunda Foundation. Educating young girls so that they make the best opportunities in life and you know best decisions for a good opportunity. Just like in sport, the moves and the plays you make can change the game forever. It's a family or cousins or friends saying let's go out and drink and whatever. It's that decision that will set one foot forward and, and you know help you aspire to your dreams or goals. It is the hardest sport I've ever had to learn. Also joining the team, 26-year-old Tash Sergi. Always played touch football and netball and everything. Mum was always, she called it Mum's taxi service, always driving me everywhere. For this angel, life hasn't always been heavenly. I remember saying to the doctor, you know, am I going to die? Like, you don't know what to think at that age. Diagnosed with ovarian cancer at just 17, the teenager was told motherhood was a maybe. You always dream of having a little one that you can look into its eyes and see your eyes and daddy's nose. And they told me that um, I was premenopausal and um, that it was very unlikely that I'd be able to have kids. I don't know, you have no other option but to be positive and just push on. And she did, ending up with a little angel of her own. I was very lucky. Um, we call, call Jackson my little miracle baby. It's you know, pretty special and my partner and I were just over the moon. In just six months, the personal trainer went from baby bump to abs of steel, making the team just four weeks after giving birth. 
At first I could use an excuse that, you know, I just had a baby, but I can't use it now. I suppose it just teaches you not to sweat the small things. Yeah, there's some quirky personalities out there and some quirky characteristics. They're fast and they're furious. We've got a mum on the team, we've got a cancer survivor, we've got uh, someone who's had multiple tours of Afghanistan with the Australian military, uh, we've got a former kickboxing champion. They kind of think that we're a bunch of pissy girls that run around and you know, don't really know what we're doing. We all like to put on a bit of makeup and a pair of heels. Absolutely. I think yeah. it's, um, it is, it's, it's good because it allows you to take your aggression out or, if you know, if you've had a bad day at the office, off you go and you can go and hit someone at training and, and it's all in good measure. When the first game comes around, I think they'll, they'll quickly realise that they're, all, the, all the ladies are here for the, the real thing. And the Angels will play their first game in December at NIB Stadium.